All right, everyone, welcome to another edition of Rec Tech on YouTube. And we've got some information from Sparkstar today. So my friend Maury Hannigan is on the line with us, and uh, they just launched something called Empower, uh, which is basically uh, revolutionizing recruitment marketing asset management, they say. So um, the Empower uh, recruitment marketing portal at Transform House companies manage, measure, and share their employer brand and recruiting marketing assets adding accessibility, quality control, organization, and analytics to sharing assets. Companies can build a strong and consistent employer brand with far greater efficiency. You can read the uh, full release at rectechpr.com. So, Maury, good morning. It's great to have you. How are things at Spark these days? Um, great. Thanks, Chris. It's nice to be here. And and things are going great at, at Spark. Sorry. We're excited. We, uh, we've spent a lot of time on product development and talking to clients and doing lots of focus groups. And, you know, we understand that a lot of people are feeling budget pinch. They're trying to be more efficient and try to get more out of the assets they've got. Um, and we responded and said, yeah, there, there are better ways to do this. So um, let's jump into that. Yeah, you're going to give us a demo today. Go ahead and get your screen and okay. can get rolling on stuff. Let me... Great, great. So let me just start out. I'm Maury Hannigan, CEO of Sparkstart. Um, this is, as you know, I am a marketer by training and mindset. I started my career at Procter & Gamble and then Pepsi um, in classic consumer packaged goods marketing. Um, so I am a real marketer. But I've also been spoiled by the tools that marketing departments have had for years. And it amazes me that um, talent attraction and, and specifically employer brand folks don't have the same kind of tools to manage their assets, to manage the whole processes the way that um, the corporate does. So that we've looked at, let me just sort of show you where, what's going on right now with um, people trying to manage employer brand assets. When we talk to clients, they have got assets all over the place, right? Corporate marketing may have created some things Production companies have shot some videos for them. They've got documents on SharePoint and so forth. Um, they've got some employee-generated content. Hopefully, they've got some things that even their recruiters have created that are really useful. Um, but where those things are and how you access them, and if a recruiter has got a candidate in process somewhere and they know they've got a great you know, piece of information that they could share with the candidate at that point that would make it helpful, where do they go? How do they get it? How do they get it to the candidate? Or if they've just got a great asset they want to put out on social media, where is it? They can go to SharePoint and download it, but that's a couple of steps. So that's what everybody's looking at right now. Um, and there's no data coming back from this. You've got things stored in all different kinds of um, you know, places with no comprehensive data, no way to know even what's working, what's being used, where should you invest your future in your future. Um, whether it's time or money. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a pretty <laughs> pretty disastrous way to try to manage something. So what we've done with Empower is created a portal where you can upload all of the assets you've got. So that can be obviously video. We're big believers in video for connecting with candidates and really communicating with candidates. So video is the obvious. All the images that you might want to share on any of your social media, those kinds of things. Microsite, certainly one of the things that's really hard to do for companies is to keep track of URLs because you can't share a URL on your SharePoint. Um, we've got one client who said, you know, we've got this great article about how we support new mothers, but it never gets used because when recruiters want to share it or it's appropriate, they can't find it and they're not going to go and look for it. Um, so that's a problem. And even having one central place for all the instructions or manuals or guidelines that you've got for your recruiters, some place to put that centrally so candidates can go and grab it. So that's what we're out to do. Um, most people right now are using SharePoint to share things that they're making them available to their, their recruiters, but it's difficult to search. You basically need to know the title of what you've got or know something is there. You've got no version control. We're seeing, um, Folks, particularly employer brand people, are kind of rolling their eyes and going, oh, we've got recruiters sharing things that say, you know, we won the 2018 best places to work. 
which was true, but we've also won the 2019 and 2020, and we've won 2023. Um, so we've got things out there that look like we haven't won it in five years. Um, if you find something on SharePoint, you've got to stop, you've got to download it, you've got to re-upload it to, you know, your social share or into a, a, a talent community or your CRM or social media. It's multiple steps, so the assets tend to get underutilized because um, we all understand that recruiters are really busy. If they can't do something in a single click, they generally don't do it. And the bigger issue is you have no data on which assets are being used. You have no data on who's using it and you have no data on where it's being shared. And if you're gonna invest in employer brand assets or any kind of recruitment marketing assets, you kind of like to know those numbers to understand what's working and what's not. And most importantly, you don't have any information on the results. Like how many views is it getting? How many clicks is it getting? Where is it being seen? Um, all of that to me seems like very basic data to run a, you know, a, a well-run, efficient employer brand or recruitment marketing process. So what we've done is created Empower, which does all of those things. And we've even taken it further. We've got leaderboards and all kinds of new things. So let me switch over. I'm going to switch over and take you and just show you some of the, the key screens for Empower. Um, Chris, any sort of questions, anything, you know, any questions about the current state, what people are doing and why they need to have a recruitment marketing asset portal? No, I mean, I can see the need. I mean, you showed that, that, that first graphic there with all the different um, sources of data that they have. I mean, I can see a need for this, you know, so, and I like the overall look there. It looks pretty it's nice and visual too. Yeah, that's really nice. Let me go over to this and I'm going to show you some mock-up screens we've got. Oh, interesting. There we go. All right. Can you, you good on the screen? Yep. Okay. So let me just start. So again, the, the whole point of Empower is to bring all your recruitment marks and assets together. Oops, let me even start at the homepage so you can see it from the homepage. Um, Sparkstart will always be a video first platform because we just believe and we've got all the stats that say video or what connect, but we understand that there are lots of assets that are useful um, through the whole candidate journey. Um, so we're always going to give you some stats when you log in, but we've got some fun things here with the, when you log into the Empower platform. Um, you've got a leaderboard here where you can see which of your recruiters are actually using the assets. This is a great way to give shout outs to your recruiters that are making use of things. Um, you, we'll go in later, you can see some, all of your recruiters to see what they're using. We've got a what's new segment here. So if your employer brand team is creating new assets for them, it's very easy to see what's there. You don't have to keep emailing people every time you've got a new asset out there. So you've got a nice overview here, but we think recruiters are going to go immediately to the search page where again, you've got, we're trying to give you lots of data, very easy to, to see and grasp, even things like type of assets that are used. What are your recruiters really using? what things are getting the most use, what kind of shares and so forth. But the nicest piece of this, I think, is our asset library search ability. If you know a document or an image or a video that you want, you know the name of it, you can go ahead and type it in and find it immediately, right? It's really easy to go and access someone. Um, we've got some predetermined groups and categories here. So we've got clients who want us to store things by say section of the world for some of our global clients. They want all their EMEA assets together, all their APAC assets together and so forth. And then they wanna do it sometimes by operating company, sometimes by function, um, lots of ways to standardize it. So we've got two different tags here that the company administrator gets to determine and create. So you've got consistency, but then we've got open field tags, which are really nice. So let's say you're a recruiter and for the first time, you're going to do military recruiting and you don't even know what the company's got on military recruiting. You can basically come here and go shopping, if you will. You can just type in military and it will go through all of the folders, all of the groups, all the categories and find whatever you've got on military. So you can see what you've got that's appropriate. Um, if you're looking to just post, let's say on social media, so you only want video and images, um, you can just limit it to video and images. If it's something, I think this link ability here is really important. If you know there was a blog post, if you know there was something there and you just don't know where it is, you can narrow it right down and just go look for those links and get it there. 
And then once you've got your search results, you can go ahead, you can download it, you can share it in email, you can embed it, you can share it either internally or externally, you can share it out to social media, you can share it internally, either through Slack or Teams, um, you can copy it, you can see all of the metrics on this particular asset, and if you want information, who uploaded it, how long ago they uploaded it, and so forth, that's all there. So it's all one click, which is really nice. So it makes everything really accessible to you. It's clean. It's easy to use. Does the platform uh, sync with like external sources like a YouTube or a Vimeo like, and suck okay. in, in uh, those, yes. those videos, things like that? Yes, all of that. Um, and if you're a TA leader and you want to just look at your user metrics, you can go through and see who's using. Um, we've also, one of the nice features of this is we've got the ability for recruiters to add things to the library. So everything on the platform gets approved by a designated approver. Um, so you make sure it's appropriate for all your recruiters. But we're really trying to encourage collaboration here. Back when everybody was in the office, you might know that, oh, Laura had this great you know, response to a question that candidates often ask. If you know Laura, ask her for a copy of it. Now Laura can upload it and everybody can see it because you can tag it and make it additional. So you can see who's con who's contributing to the community. You can see who's using the assets. You can see where they're using it and how they're using it. This helps tremendously in terms of creating things going forward that are going to get used. And quite frankly, for your employer brand group to say, look, here are the results. You know, here, here's how people are using. We're producing things that are necessary in the candidate journey things that are really helping recruiters either keep candidates connected or informing them or adding to the candidate experience. So here's the proof of what we're actually doing here. So you can go through and look at all your recruiters there. You can set up teams of recruiters. Um, we, when we were doing all the research for Empower, we did, uh, we did individual interviews of a couple dozen people, and then we did eight rounds of focus groups and talked to people about what else do you want to see here? Um, what's helpful here? And we got a lot of feedback that said, we want to be able to gamify this and make it fun for recruiters. So you can go through, let me just go to add, edit users. Um, you can go through and create teams. So you might want to put all of your East Coast people versus your Southeast versus your Central, whatever. You might do it by function. You can create teams. Um, you can also create panels, particularly for approvals. If there's an asset that needs to be approved by more than one person, uh, you can set up an approval panel and the platform will automatically route the asset through all the approvers. So let's say there's an onboarding video on how to set up your tech stack that you want to send to all your new hires. You, if you're the project manager, might want to look at that first. Then you might want to send it to someone in IT to make sure all of it's accurate then heaven forbid you may need to send it to compliance or legal, <laughs> which is true for a lot of our organizations. So rather than uploading things, downloading them, keeping track of who's seen it, keeping track of their comments, the platform does all of that for you. Um, and nothing goes on that share screen I just saw, showed you until all the unnecessary approvers have approved it. So if something gets uploaded, it's just behind the firewall on your account until the appropriate people have approved it. So that's all doable here. But just going back to some of the metrics, if you go to your asset management, you can go through, see how many assets you've got, how many you've added, um, how many expiring. One of the things we've done with the platform is we've added an automatic expiration date that's two years out. Now you can override that. If it's something like a happy holidays, you know, happy 2024 and you know, we're wishing you a great new year. You may want that to expire on January 31st so people don't continue to share it next year. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've got a great message from your CEO that's got more than a two-year shelf life, you can go in and keep that live for three years or four years or however long you think the hairstyles and clothing are going to stay in, in town there. Um, so you can do all of that. You can take a look at all of it. You can look at what's about to expire um, and um, overload it there. We've also got an optional nice feature that, um, again, we were asked for by um, clients, which is the ability to schedule social media posts. So let's say um, International Women's Day is coming up on March 8th, um, but that's a ways away. But you've created a, um, a graphic for social media that highlights some of your women leaders that you want to share with the team. Maybe you're doing this 
you know, getting close to the Christmas holidays because things slow down a little bit. Not so many new people are being onboarded. It's a great time to create these kinds of assets. But you know, by March, everyone's going to have forgotten. <laughs> so a recruiter can go in, grab the graphic you've got or the video you've got, whatever you've done it. They can put in their text, their hash date, put in their publish date, schedule it, set it and forget it. Rather than on March 9th go, ah, oh, I was supposed to post that. Um, you've got it all here. You can go in and, and you know schedule your posts. At Sparkstart, we tend to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We can go in and do two weeks worth of posts and set them mm -hmm. and have them all set for our TA leader series. So we've got all of that and you can post on any of the socials here. Um, let me just show you on the contribute. Um, if you're uploading a an asset, all of this is really simple and straightforward. One of the things we've done with this platform, and quite frankly, we've done it with the whole Sparkstart platform, is to make it very intuitive. You don't need to put people through a training class to understand how to use it. You can pretty much figure out if you want to contribute an asset, you'd probably click on the contribute button. <laughs> um, you put in the asset name, you decide if an individual is going to approve it, if this is something that needs to be approved by a panel. If it's something, let's say your agency has produced this and you want to bring this on, you just put in the email of your agency contact. You put in your groups and categories, you upload it and hit OK. This is all really straightforward, really simple to do. Um, we understand people don't want to struggle with these sorts of things. Um, there are very few only name approved by our required fields. So if you're not sure how to tag this, you might let your system administrator tag it so you've got consistency. But we've done a lot of nice things here. Um, under branding, we've got the ability to um, create campaign video pages and promo pages. Um, this lots more on this platform. I could take you through lots and lots of screens. But the important thing is to understand that this really is simple. It's easy to use. Let me okay. go out of this and just some of the things that um, I will think about. Um, some of the other things that um, are important to clients is that we've designed this for enterprise. So it's got all the role-based architecture. So you can have different roles for different levels of people. Some people can just be approvers. Some can be you know, recruiters. We've, we've got a patent on the Sparkstart video process. We're fully GDPR compliant. Um, and we've got all the, the security that you want, all of the encryption and so forth. Um, and I'd like to say we've won all the awards you can win without paying for them. <laughs> because um, both our first two products, both Spark and Amplify, won the top product award at HR Tech. By the time we released Empower, we were too late for this year's award, but we will um, certainly apply for last year. And I think we've won in previous years because we're producing software that's really usable. It's easy to use. It's intuitive. And it fills a real need. This is not, gee, wouldn't it be nice to have that? It's if we're going to run a top match employer brand recruitment marketing, we need to be able to manage these assets. We need to make it, if we're going to be efficient, we need to make it really easy for all recruiters. So we've gone there. So the, questions, Chris? Yes, a couple. Um, okay. So the origins of it, did it come from a client or did you, is this something that uh, you've been thinking about for a while in terms of creating it? It, it came from the client in response from our, Amplify product. Amplify is our video creation um, tool for all of employer brand, for all your employer generated content. And with that platform, we have always made it easy for clients to upload all of their videos in one place. So if they've had mm -hmm. a third party production company, you know, come in and produce their hero video or some employee testimonials or something, they could add that to the employee generated content and have all their videos in one place. And what we got back was, this is great. I wish I could do it for everything else. You know, it's great to have videos in one place, but there's some documents that are helpful. There's some images that are helpful. There are URLs, there are landing pages or registration pages for job fairs. There's so many more things that our recruiters need to put their hands on simply. So okay. that's where we started. And then we said, okay, gee, if we're going to just upload all these things, then what else do you want to do with this? So even things like sharing internally on Slack and, and Teams, you know, whether it's for internal mobility or just um, general information, they wanted to be able to do that. Yep. Now, is this a standalone product? Do you have to buy Spark to get this or tell me how that works? Nope, it is a standalone product um, that you can just, if you just want to, and quite frankly, we've priced this as introductory pricing really low. 
Um, we introduced it on September 4th. Um, we are releasing more and more features every two weeks. We're doing more releases. So right now there is really inexpensive pricing on this. In January, we'll have to take it back to be competitive with other um, products in the market. But right now it's a, a real bargain to be honest. Yeah. Can you get back to your opening slide with the different, with that diagram of the different sources? Sure. Let me add a couple questions around that. This yeah. one. Uh, yeah, this one. So let's see here. Um, so how do you, how do you integrate things like career site, micro site? Um, I thought I saw blogging on here somewhere too. Like, do you suck in like an RSS feed and just, uh, can you talk what, more about the different sources there? Yep. What gets uploaded for, for things like a blog is the URL of that blog the URL, and that gets shared um, and shows up on search result, just like anything else. So for, Assets, most clients will just upload the asset to Empower. So it's right there. So it can be downloaded. Um, and we can also obviously add tracking pixels to everything, which is kind of the point of this. So you can see where it's going and how it's being used. Gotcha. Okay. So basically, it's, it's a you have to upload everything individually, essentially. Right. And we can help clients with the initial upload of that because... Gotcha. Hopefully they've got a, a fairly sizable library. Yeah. What's the, like, give me a, a best practice here as far as setting it up uh, at a company. Like, what should they know going into this? Um, the, the first thing that we have them think about is how they want to organize things here. Like what are the categories and groups they want to put things in? Um, and, and do that in a way that's really logical for recruiters. So the first thing is think about that. And then what assets do you want to upload? Where, where do you want to start? Um, and how do you want to communicate this? I think a really important piece of this is the collaboration piece of having recruiters also add their assets. It, you know, people talk about recruiters are keeping, they, they've got things in their back pockets um, that sometimes they're hesitant to share. And sometimes they just develop things that are useful to them that there's no really easy way to share it with the whole team. So you really wanna upskill the, the entire organization and have people share. So that's a part of the implementation is how do you really encourage you know, recruiters to share the things they've got? How do you get them to use it? Um, we're seeing some clients now as they're starting this, they're, they're kind of gamifying it. The, you know, the, the top five recruiters who are sharing things in the first month are getting gift cards or, um, you know, those sorts of things so that they, people get used to, to finding it and, and understanding how easy, once you've done it, um, I mean, clearly we set up an empower for ourselves <laughs> because we needed to do the same thing from a marketing standpoint. Yeah. Um, and it just becomes, it's like, I just, I'm not going, I'm not going to show Clinton going, what file is this in? Where is this thing? Um, I just need to put my hands on this now. Um, so you just go in and type it in and you've got it. In terms of social recruiting, Maury, what are your uh, what are your clients seeing most traction with? Is it LinkedIn? Is it uh, Facebook? Give me some thoughts around what's working out there. Yeah, it's interesting. We're we're not seeing as much Facebook as we did. Uh, we've seen a real fall off in Facebook, um, and what's replacing it really is TikTok. Hmm. Um, you know, TikTok's got a, a limited shelf life, which creates a need for a lot of work, or maybe a lot of people on your team contributing. On a TikTok, those are a little tougher. Um, but LinkedIn stays the mainstay. You know, that's where recruiters are. That's where a lot of professional um, candidates are. Um, but we're seeing a lot more on uh, texting, a lot more um, ability there to add, add information for candidates. Awesome. We'll tell the audience where to go to learn more. Okay. It's sparkstart.com. Um, let me go back down to my last page um, or to reach out to me personally. Um, I'm more than happy to talk about, you know, how people have set this up, where the savings are. Um, you know, we, we spent a lot of time talking to a lot of people about this. And I'm always happy just to chat. If you'd like to see a demo, a full demo of the product, live product, happy to do that. But also always happy to just share what I've, I've learned about all of this. Definitely. Well, we appreciate your time, Maury, and uh, yeah, reach out to her uh, audience there uh, if you're looking for more information on Spark Start or Empower. And uh, we appreciate your time today, Clyde. Uh, thanks for doing the demo, and uh, it looks like a great utility tool. You know, it's like a 
something that is employers can use every day as far as just organizing and managing their uh, their assets. So good job. Yeah, thank you. This is a core tool. I mean, everybody uses yeah. and we probably start to make it easy. So that's great. Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on RecTech.